you know, I just come out, you know, yeah. <laughs> if you don't come out, yes. I want to share with you some, some moments, some moments in my life, some things that you may have heard me talk about or may never have heard me talk about, and that is just the experience of, of listening to music for the first time. Hearing the sounds come out of this little thing they call the radio. <laughs> and the amazing thing is, I would ask my mama, I say, Ma, how does people get in there? <laughs> I say, it's like magic. That's yeah, the radio, baby. I say, no, but all the people are in there. They're talking, everything, music, guitars and drums. And it's still magical to me. There's one person that, amongst many people, there's someone that I I heard about as a little boy. And um, this song, this this jockey in Detroit would play every single night when he was going off the air. And I didn't know the name of this person, but I felt that he had feeling. For, for Motown, telling me the story of some of the artists back in the day, in the 50s. He had said that they were, he and his wife, and I guess his uh, assistant, a bodyguard or whatever, back in the day, and um, the driver were traveling through some part of the South. And the unique thing about Jesse Dalvin was he was one of those artists that his love songs brought people together. They would come together and dance together, even though it was a segregated theater where it was that no blacks and whites could be together in the same place, the same home. Stupidness. And his songs just brought people together, singing and celebrating and dancing. And so the word as I got <clears throat> was that there was a threat. It said if that nigga would have anybody come together at that show that night, he would be killed. And supposedly his tires were slashed and um, he and the other car the people were killed in a horrible accident. That's why we have to continue to spread love. And we can never let those kinds of things ever happen again in not just this country, but in the world. 
And in saying that, I want to have a moment right now of silence for those that were killed in Norway. Another song that he did, he and his wife, which really again I, I felt that had so much feeling in it. It goes like this. Mm -hmm. 